In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a really effective concept out of trips tied in that you can use to kind of beat some of the dollar meta. Now this, uh, I'm in the New England Patriots offensive playbook. If you want to get my full trips tied in offensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. It's just 10 bucks to sign up for that. It gets you access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks. We're going to be dropping our 11th ebook of the Madden 23 season. This week, uh, we're going to be bringing out a brand new offense, so more to come on that. But again, Patreon members get access to everything. So by being a member, you get access to all the ebooks, all the updates uh, to those ebooks as well. And in today's video, I wanted to break down drive posts. I think that drive posts is really one of the more underrated plays um, in Madden this year because it really does a good job for the current meta and it's a five out setup that I really, really like. Now, something that I wanted to talk just briefly about with you, I wanna show you something more to come on this in the coming days um, for our trips tied in guys, but I wanna show you something really interesting. So um, the wheel route is once again, one of the most effective routes in Madden. It's really good for beating the blitz quick to the, to the flat, but it's also really good for pulling zones. So you'll see here, I'm gonna cover three. So let me show you my defensive shell. I'm gonna cover three. And I want you to watch how the third, you'll see right here, um, will kind of not guard the corner. As you see right there, didn't guard him, okay? Didn't guard the corner route. Now, I'm going to leave, I'm just going to block my running back here. So I'm just going to set up a, a simple pass protection. Again, we're going to go to cover three, shade our coverage underneath so we have hard flats. And I just want you to see how this is going to work. Now, this time, I can still kind of throw that route but I certainly can't throw it anywhere near as good as I was able to. Another thing that's really popular against strips tight end every year is to baseline press out of a cover four shell. And once again, you'll see that this running back route, because this tight end's running to the short side, the running back will pull the deep blue zones out of the way, which is really, really, really powerful because we all know that cover two this year is Certainly not as good as it has been in years past, okay? Cover 2 is certainly not as good as it's been in years past. So what you'll see here is this cloud flat. You can kind of just throw over the cloud flat. So this makes the wheel and the tight end corner concept like really, really, really good against something like um, a zone look. Really, any zone look is going to be really hard for, uh, for this to to be able to stop it, okay? So next thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to show you though um, a little bit more of a man-man uh, or a man-to-man -man and blitz beating uh, kind of setup out of this, primarily based around this post to Chris Godwin, okay? So Chris Godwin is, um, we're gonna use his route primarily to beat man, but then we're also gonna show you one other thing about this against zones. So we know the running back streak is good for pulling zones, like for corner routes. What about for like a post route? So let's say a, late, a later read, let's say they drop coverage, and I just wanna show you here that it's same kind of thing. You see there that the outside third's not able to defend that route and i'll show it to you again and again obviously this is like a you're gonna have all you would have to have all day for this to really matter um you know but i do want to show the power of the wheel or even the running back streak but the beauty of the wheel is that it can be a quick pass to the flat but then you'll see right here like it clears out the zone on the sideline now again this is a very late read okay very very late read but this is going to work really 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 well um, against something like this, okay? So let me show you the rest of the concept now. So this is kind of the route combination that I really like. Um, now, on the left side, we have two primary route combinations that I like to go to. We're either gonna use it to beat man or gonna use it to beat zone. Now you can, this will beat man and zone. This right here is a kind of a universal concept, but your first read is always right there, quick throw to the running back. Now. With this quick wheel throw, I did want to say to you guys that I do think that it makes a lot of sense this year. Um, if you're going to throw this, you don't want to freeform it. You just want to snap in your normal pass lead. You're just going to snap, throw it. Just get it out there quick. Let him take the ball and run with it, okay? What this is going to force, and I'm just going to show you the coverage art here. Now, if I was in a cover one blitz, 
okay? If I was in a cover one blitz, this safety up here would be in man coverage on the back, okay? Or maybe this guy if they're smart, okay? Um, but anyways, the point being their user defender is going to have to kind of help out on this wheel, okay? So like right here, you're going to see if the linebacker, let's just say either one of these guys, it's going to be either one of these guys. If either one of those guys go to the right, you're immediate, you're immediately going to throw the ball to the tight end. So if they go to the right, I'm throwing the ball right there. And we're going to take four or five yards, and we're going to make them respect the fact that we can hit the tight end quick over the middle. Now, if you have the short end elite ability, this is a little bit better against uh, specifically against man. And then what's going to happen is it's going to cause them to have to either user the tight end or they're going to have to drop a zone um, to defend the tight end. So, for example, you're going to start to see this defender is going to kind of squat on the tight end. Okay, could be a user defender, could be not, could not be a user defender. And now what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to hit our post right there. And that route right there is really probably, I think, one of the most underrated routes in the entire formation this year. It's very effective, and we want to make sure that we are hitting that post route um, You know, whenever the opponent is giving us the read. Okay. Now, on the back side, like I said, if it's man-to-man, -man, I want to run a C route to... Um, Ideally, I would like to run a, you know, a C route to Mike Evans or a corner route. And then from there, you could leave this flat on Jones. I think it's actually really good for pick as a pick route. And what you'll notice here is when he cuts to the outside, man, I, I, I think it's crazy that the, like, cover one robber, if you just watch, like, it just randomly will come in every single time. It's just crazy to me. Um, but anyways, I do want to show you. So the C route on the left side, if I pair that with a flat route against man, a lot of times a flat will be a pick route for um, you know for the C route. So you'll see something like this. And then if he cuts the outside, we're going to high ball it to the sideline. And we're going to try to get that jumping possession catch animation on the sideline. Okay. So now what they have to do defensively is what? They have to shade. They have to start shading outside. So something real simple that you can do is the flat and the deep in route, the smart routed in, which pairs perfectly for with this concept. And so what you'll see now is he should have inside leverage to the inside. So you can easily just pass lead inside against man coverage and you should have uh, the ability to be able to hit that, okay? So you're able to hit that route against man. Um, and again, this is primarily in a situation where they're starting to kind of carve up your C route um, or take it away by using a third or shading outside, and you can just throw that. Now, with all none of these throws am I using freeform, okay? I do think that freeform is something that you want to be a little bit more strategic with and you want to be a little bit more situational with than I probably was um, you know, at the beginning of the year. I kind of just freeformed everything. I don't think that's very smart um, because of the fact that you're going to get random overthrows. Now, let's say that this is zone coverage, okay? What you'll see in zone is you should still be able to hit that route. You're going to kind of hit it almost like a, like again, like a sharp cutting in route or sharp cutting post route. You you want you don't want to throw the. I'm going to use my defense to show you where I want to throw this ball. So what I don't want to do is I don't want to throw that in route in this area. This is where the user is. He's going to be in this box. I want to throw the in route right in this area right here. Okay, it's a big difference, and it really makes. Th that little piece right there makes this formation significantly better because now they can't just sit in the middle of the field and take away our two guys. This is one of the big issues that I think exists right now in the current meta is we're trying to beat man coverage with these three players, the running back, the tight end, and this guy. They can use all those guys, okay? So when they start to do that, we want to be able to hit them right there. That is so important. 
because their user can't get over there unless he runs over there at the start of the ball or at the start of the play. Now, if he runs over there at the start of the play, then what we're going to be able to do is, oh, he's running over there at the start of the play. Now I can throw the ball over here. I've out leveraged him to the sideline. So you see how powerful this is. And if they do decide, let's say that they do want to, um, let's say that they do want to send pressure. So let's say they blitz this guy. Let's say they blitz this guy. They're going to man this guy up here. They're going to man, uh, and they're going to man this guy up here. Okay. So they're going to send five. This is a pretty good blitz this year. They're going to have man coverage across the board. And their user, they got the running back manned up. So they're going to kind of squat, if you will, on this, this route to the tight end. Okay. So they're going to go with the route to the tight end. And this is where we want to try to hit this post right on the cut. Now that's honestly right there is probably the best specific defense for this play. And if they're doing that, what we can do is counter a five-man pressure. So the way we're going to counter the five-man pressure is through utilizing this um, through utilizing this motion block. So you notice that this second receiver is not like critical to the play. What we can do is we can go ahead and motion block him. This is going to help us pick up a blitz. So now we have a six-man protection, and now we have time to hit that against a cover zero blitz. So this play really works hand-in-hand. -hand. It's a very versatile play, uh, but I'd encourage you to try this out against the current cover zero meta. And um, if you have any questions, please let me know. But use this play to kind of to kind of work that around. And again, if you get good at throwing these routes to the back, um, it really is going to make a big difference once we start to go to zone because we can use that wheel route. So again, if they're going to play zone on us, this wheel route to the running back is seriously it's really really good um, because you can throw it as a flat, and then it also went through that through that too early to the corner. But it also makes it so that it's really difficult uh, for the, the opponent. So a lot of times what you'll get, especially if someone's playing dollar on you, uh, they want a user. They want to user this guy. Okay, so they're going to man him up with this guy, and they're going to bring this guy down and, and basically blitz him. Okay, so if that happens, you get something like that. Now, again, all of the leverage is on your side. So you motion this guy, you get your block. See how I have a step to the sideline, and I can quick throw that as a flat route, basically, and we're getting 30, 40 yards. So by utilizing the wheel to use to as kind of a two-fold route, a quick flat, as well as a clear out, I think it makes the trip side information significantly better against the blitz and significantly better against zone coverage. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to learn my entire Trips Tied In offensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon page. Um, Patreon members get access to all of our ebooks and all of the updates to those ebooks. We're dropping a brand new offensive ebook this week. We dropped a brand new defense last week. So we've been really pumping up the content for you guys this year. We're going to be dropping uh, by the end of the month of September. We should have 12 ebooks for you guys as Patreon members. Thanks for watching. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description below and click the link and go get signed up.